Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Coronation Street Spoilers Ed's family ripped apart as he takes shocking action. Ed relapsed and started betting again shortly after Leo Thompkins's Joe Frost body was found on a building site. The builder's actions also nearly put Michael Bailey, Ryan Russell, behind bars. After winning on a bet, Ed stashed some cash in a bag that was accidentally picked up by his son. As Michael headed to Underworld to try and get his job back, he ended up being questioned by D.S. Swain, Vicki Myers, over his involvement in Stephen Reed's, Todd Boyce, plan to steal the factory's entire bank balance. Michael tried his best to tell Swain that he was innocent, but as he opened up the bag, the detective spotted the cash which certainly didn't look good. Coming up, Ed is shocked when Granddad Sarge arrives early for Christmas. When Ronnie Vinta Morgan suggests a big family meal out, insisting they'll pick up the tab, Ed secretly panics. Having taken out a payday loan, Ed scans the racing pages, hoping to get his hands on more cash. As the Baileys gather in the bistro, Ed watches the racing on his phone, while Sarge makes digs about his business brain. Meanwhile, D.D., Chank you Sterling Ground, quietly explains to Joel, Callum Lil, that Sarge believes they lost their house because of a bad business decision, not her dad's gambling. Watching the racing come to a close, Ed is annoyed to realize he lost. While Ronnie covers lunch, Ed finds Tony and admits that he can't pay because he's a gambling addict and has lost all of his money. But just as Ronnie approaches, Ed begs Tony to keep quiet. Is this the moment Ronnie finds out the damage Ed has done to their business and livelihoods? There's one thing that will always save Ed, and that's the love of his family, Trevor Michael Georges told us. He loves his family more than his love for gambling, and that will always save him. Ed's a father first, then a husband, then a builder, then an addict last. The pain of what he's done to his family is awful. When your loved ones discover they can't trust you, and you're capable of lying and leading them astray, that damage is worse than financial loss. With help and sensible discipline, you can get the financial loss back, but whether you can always get the people you betrayed back, well, that's the hardest part.